Hello everyone, Larry Leverancy for Ichimoku.com and ForexTrading.tv with a daily analysis for the Aussie dollar US dollar FX for the trading day ending Tuesday, January 28th, 2014. Now the candle we're analysing is the second last candle on the chart. That uh, is a candle that has uh, completed trading. That last candle on the chart is very, very important and it is uh, continuing to trade, hasn't completed trading yet and there is quite some time to go but uh, some important features there that we will look at. But with that second last candle on the chart, chart we have had confirmation of the uh, bullish harami pattern that we saw yesterday in the market a downtrend in place the body of the uh, current candle that candle there within the body of the previous candle uh, offering potential for a change of trend and we have had confirmation with the current candle today making a higher high and a higher low just looking at this candle we continue the uh, white body on the previous day suggesting that buyers have made net bullish progress which is a positive for the buyers but if we look at the large shadow on the top of this candle the buyers have lost some commitment as the market tested above the 87.69 resistance and also above the resistance offered at the Tinker Cent. and uh, for that candle that has completed we the market failed to close up above that Tenkan Sen and that could be significant. Now as we're looking at this current candle as it's developing the market is actually trading above the Tenkan Sen and above the 87.69 level of resistance. So we do need to watch whether um, the, we get any follow through with this market. If, if the buyers do continue with the strong control and these, with this upside momentum that they've built over the last trading days there is potentially strong resistance at 88 70. We also have the, the Kijinsen trading around that area, so some strong resistance around there, and that's an area where we uh, may see this market uh, uh, hold up and uh, see some selling coming in, or there is good potential for that. But um, we can't preempt this uh, this market, this candle. We could still see uh, the market rejected from above this Tenkan Sen. So it is quite important trading at the moment that the market is uh, is going through. At the moment, the uh, area at 87.69, whereas it was previously uh, uh, resistance and uh, and support, is now uh, holding a support for today's candle. So if we do see bearishness coming to this market, we see bearish activity down below 87.69. It may herald rejection from from uh, that 87.69 and from the Tenkan Sen and we could then see the market trading lower but we do need to be patient and wait for resolution of this uh, this current candle. In terms of Ichimoku, still a bearish market in that long term time frame and that really is what should be guiding us with uh, our overall um, ideas on this market so we will be looking for this market to appreciate and then for the sellers to come back in. The Kijin Sen uh, has price action below it so we have a bearish market in the medium term time frame but how often do we see that flat Kijin Sen attract price action back towards there and that's what we're seeing at the moment. So while that remains flat there is a good possibility of price action and being attracted back towards there and the way this uh, current candle is developing it does look as though there is a possibility of the uh, price action being attracted back towards that area around that 88.70 level. In terms of the Tenkan Sen, uh, as I've already mentioned, price action rejected from there, failing to close above there. It's been some time since we've been trading above there and closing above there. And really this current candle, as it's developing, uh, will be important, may determine the um, uh, sentiment in that medium in, uh, sorry that fast term time frame if the market can close up above that uh, Tenkan Sen the green line there. Looking over at the chicken span that's below corresponding price action so it's confirming what we're seeing in the higher time frames and uh, suggesting that uh, there is a possibility of this market perhaps bouncing and then the sellers coming back in or even selling off from the area that we're trading at so let's be on lookout and react to these markets uh, to the market around these levels at the moment 87.69 is holding a support if we do break out to the downside we could uh, quickly see the market testing down to the swing low down here around the 86.58 area